Let's look at another variant of the Eye of Horus or Lucifer. And we start out again with Lady Gaga. She's just a prime example. I can't uh, believe that uh, um, she does the things she does. She is an ultimate puppet. And so they dress her up and let her do everything that is symbolizes this. And she has millions and millions of fans. So we have here the lightning bolt, which is Luciferian, satanic, in the eye of Horus or Lucifer, and the covering of the eye. So that is a prime example of what they do. And you can see the repetition of this covering of a single eye. Here's Rihanna. Even their videos are riddled with symbolism now. It wasn't this way when I was growing up. I did see some old videos that had that I looked back and noticed the symbolism, but is now becoming much more prevalent these days. Nicki Minaj, this is Keisha. And you can see now again the band Paramore, that lead singer. And you can see here the peace sign. We'll see that later. It's not the peace sign. It's come to be known as the peace sign, but but uh, it has much more evil roots than that. You can see what they're doing. Michael Jackson, you saw him as a young man in the previous plate, and here he is older. And now he's repeating this symbolism. There's Bono. He did all of those other symbols that you saw. And here's uh, Johnny Depp. He wears the skull. He also has a skull and bows tattoo. We'll see later. This is now Chris Brown. You saw him doing signs, and he does them all as well. Now moving along, uh, I forget her name. Mm. But you can see them all. I don't know how what these two have in common, Katy Perry and Robin. But you can see that they are both doing this. This is uh, Willow Smith, uh, Will Smith's daughter. You can see the star in the head and then the indoctrination of their children into this program. So, and religion. Uh, oh, I forget her name. I know it. Everybody knows it uh, now. But you can see here's Keisha again. And you can see that famous actress. Here's Angelina Jolie. Look at everyone is doing this. And it would be hard not to find them doing this symbology. You just have to look to see this. And you can see now variants of this. Just covering one eye, and she is a Grammy Award winner now, uh, Adele. And uh, uh, there are more images of her, not a lot, but they continue on with this. And there are more that come out that they take fashion uh, photos with. And so you can see the use of the Egyptian style eye uh, doing another variant. Eminem, oh, he's notorious. His lyrics are downright evil. And you can see that happening. Here is Prince, and you can see Prince 1999 and the one eye single symbolism even on his record, gold record. You can see that. Looks like fashion, but it is finally we can find out that it is the one eye symbolism and the eye of Lucifer. It is becoming known now. This information is coming out. And so I believe there's a clear decision of whether or not you're going to be with this group or not. And they look so good. They are the counterfeit. World peace and all that. And I can un explain that whole world peace mo uh, mode, but they are warmongers. And they've done this. It's not religion that uh, is. They promote war in the name of God, and they are not of God at all. Magazine covers. This was a band I used to like. I forget their name. De La Soul. Keith Richards, and he was. Uh, you saw his uh, a keychain, which is the lightning bolt, and on his his book cover of his life. Now he's doing the one eye symbolism, and you see the skull there. Athletes again. They sell their souls just like a musician sells their souls. Athletes sell their souls for better power. Now, just to show you, there was a, a story of the father of rock and roll, and uh, this is Johnson was his last name, and he was a black 
uh, guitarist, he could not play at all. And the story goes is that he left um, and went to the crossroads. And they do have all of this crossroad terminology in rock and roll. When he went to the crossroads, he sold his soul at the crossroads to the devil. And he even uh, sang a song about it. And then when he came back, he was playing like people were shocked and amazed at what he was doing and so there is a reality in demonic possession being in somebody and making somebody better at what they do and I have no doubt now uh, that this happens even in athletics and uh, so we'll see uh, maybe a little bit that later I was going to add one of those uh, uh, to my um, uh, ending plates you can see that here's the clash way back in the day this is uh, Ed Sheeran. Now you can see now this is global. This is uh, Vogue Korea. And clearly Marilyn Manson and the use of this one eye symbolism here with that distinct eye. Now you can clearly see what that is. This is uh, Aldous Huxley and he's the author of a brave new world and you can see understand that that story really is the new world order or the new Babylonian world order which is coming to be. Daniel uh, chapter 7 verse 43 is the description of the final kingdom that will encompass the entire world and biblically we are close to that being established now and I just want you to know that.